in the case of Tyree Nichols, okay? Um, and there is an outrage for that because he was there. He rendered no help. Um, he, I don't know if he came in conjunction of a call or if they told him. I mean, we don't know the story behind it. And I guess when he saw Tyree st walk, uh, start to run, that's when he did the taser from the video. And after that, I don't know if he was there in the actual unaliving of Kyrie Nichols, but something is not right. Now, two EMTs have been fired because they did not render help to Tyree. Regardless of what those cops say, your duty is to make sure that person is safe and to make sure that person gets the medical attention they need. Now, the police chief of Memphis, she is under scrutiny because there have been people coming out saying that these guys have been doing this for a long time, okay? Now, the Scorpion unit, which is a, a, a unit that is a crime unit that was created, uh, was a unit that goes in the neighborhood and, uh, you know, pretty much monitor the neighborhood, rest, do whatever they do, you know, um, to bring criminals in but it's a sad day when you get a bunch of black men on a scorpion crew that could actually do more harm because they're attacking our own people and this is the sad thing they know that the news coverage here in a black neighborhood is not going to be so significant so they can go around and terrorize the neighborhood they were a bunch of terrorists okay let's make that clear anytime you incite fear in people and you go around and you terrorize them you are a terrorist okay and that's what they were um this is uh sad um i watch uh crump's video with the morning um breakfast club with Charlemagne and um, Nene, and I forgot the other young man's name, I'm sorry. But um, he made a lot of points, you know, um, when it comes to our community, we need to start keeping statistics. We need to start te um, teaching our children what to look out for because if we're not even safe with our own color, okay? We are out here being terrorized by cops that are the same color as we are. Okay, so it don't matter to me what color you are. If you do wrong, you do wrong, point blank, period. If you take a man's life, black, white, green, or purple, you wrong because you took an oath to serve and protect and you did not. You served and neglect. Okay, all right? You neglected to protect. All right? So you get what you get. That's all I got to say. You took a young man's life because y'all are a bunch of bullies. And there is also a cop on there that had been fired before from for um, laying hands on an inmate to the point he was hospitalized. Okay, y'all, you can't make this stuff up. These people, I just don't understand. I, I don't understand what you have to do to be to hire these cops. If is there a um, a, a mental evaluation do they have to go into therapy every three months something something's got to give and i agree with um crump on that but you know this is the way it is and when you get a bunch of black cops with guns and tasers and they got the backing of the police department um, and they go in our neighborhoods that terrorize people that is the same color as us. It's sad. It's a sad day. Okay? It really is a sad day. But it's not, it's nothing new under the sun. It's been, this has been going on for how? Forever. Okay? So let's keep the Nichols family in prayer. Um, Tyree's mom and his stepfather and and um, extended family. Let's keep them in prayer. Okay, Shanquilla Robinson, the same. Um, they are still investigating Shanquilla Robinson's case. Uh, no real updates lately. Um, I'm not sure what is transpiring. 
but the last update I got was from Anaya saying that they are waiting on the U.S. to conduct their investigation. So with me, it sounds as if there are two investigations going on. Now, Mexico has finished their investigation. They have everything they need to extradite, okay? And what I gather, when they sent all this to the United States, now the U.S. is doing their investigation. And before they extradite. So it sounds like two investigations. One is complete and the other one is still ongoing. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe there's some kind of negotiation, I think. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is, you know, they need to keep you know, pressure on those Cabo Deadly Six. Um, we need to keep Shanquilla's name out in these streets because, you know, people have, you know, kind of slowed down because she's not as trending because they don't see what's going on. But you should not um, have to have a person's unaliving trending to keep her name out in these streets. I just don't see that. But we're going to keep it out here on this channel, okay? Um, so we're going to move on and move on. Yes, yeah, so you guys, um, I had, did a video with Martel. is down there and he was uh, filming with Roja. And um, he was actually at Candy and Todd Burris' release of The Past. Um, the film that they produce with their production company. Um, they are uh, releasing that and he was with Sheree. Sheree that we was tiring honey. It is not giving. It was horrible. Take it off. Take it off. Okay. Look like a drag queen on there. No it's funny to a drag queen but that's what she look like. Alright. Um, and he was down there giggling it up with the fellas. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You know, is it real? When it comes to Martell, ain't nothing real. Okay, Martell wanted to be kept. Like, Melody kept him because he can't keep nobody, honey. Well, Martell can't do nothing by himself. He got to have a woman to do what he needs to be done. And um, Coleslaw is not the type of woman that he wants his arm to be on. He wants to be around somebody that's got a little status. Coleslaw ain't got no status. Okay, she thinks she got status. That help ain't got a status if somebody spells status. Okay, so let's be clear. But I mean, Sheree ain't no different. <laughs> She's a menace to Atlanta, but <laughs> but hey, if that's what you want to call status, go ahead, baby. Go ahead. You do you, Martell, because guess what? She gonna do her. All right. But yes, y'all, um, I just wanted to come on here and say hello. How you doing? I will be going live tonight. I am um, around 6. Um, I am going to just, you know, we're going to recap so a bunch of different stuff. Um, if you don't know, you're going to know right now, Robin Dixon has confirmed that she knew about the mistress. Okay? She was over there on Patreon spilling all the tea that she knew. But... Robin, we already knew that you knew, okay? This is nothing new. This is nothing that we didn't know. I don't know why you out here trying to save face when you know good and darn well that we know that you and Juan, Juan was cheating on you. He ain't, this ain't the first time. It's definitely, it's not going to be the last time. And I don't understand why people up here try to save face. It's amazing to me when people like Robin and Giselle get in a bunch of trouble like when Hope Pastor Holy Horror was um, with Giselle and she was making up all these last time how they were back together in a relationship and doing all this so she can have a storyline you know it was a bunch of lies a bunch of lies now here come Robin the truth has come out receipts have been um, shown now she had no trouble she had no problem uh, no choice 
but to come out and address these rumors that she already knew about, okay? Uh, she was just praying that none of the girls will hear about it. But guess what? Kern hear about everything, okay? Everything. And um, she been known about this. Giselle knew about this, okay? Come on now. We even knew about this. We talked about this two or three years ago, okay? And um, she was just hoping it wouldn't get out, but it's out. It's out, so stop lying. Stop it. Just stop it. We know you're going to be with one. We don't care. But stop lying about it. Who these two something else? No storyline. Everybody on that show got storyline except Robin and Giselle. That's it. Giselle's main purpose is to tell lies and get it started. If that's my main purpose on the show, I would want to be on the show. You know what I'm saying? You have no makeup line. You have no no business. You got that half uh, halfway house, look like a halfway barn and stable. You are going around here starting ish. Don't I don't see nothing you're doing but the podcast. That's it. And um. No products, no this, no that. And everybody else on here is working. I don't know what Cherie's doing, but I mean, you know, she needs a check, I guess, this time. But, you know, these two need to be held accountable and they need to have storylines. This is ridiculous. These two grown women always attacking other people's uh, relationships. But then when it comes to their relationship, they gonna lie to the end of time to protect it. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We are going to hold you accountable because we know the truth, Robin. And ain't nothing you can say, ain't nothing you can do that can cover it up. Girl, bye. Get your life right, chick. All right? Ugh. But anyway, you guys, I will be back later with more commentary. Thank you for listening. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel, baby. We're trying to get that 12K by the end of February, okay? And uh, share this video. Share it with some friends. Get them to subscribe and hit that like button, okay? Comment below. Keep me in the algorithm, yo. All right. Thank you, guys, and I will see you tonight or a little later on. Alright, bye-bye.